Hi, I'm Alexandria Barker, creator of Becoming an Empowered Empath, The Journey to Joy. Today's topic is, has a narcissist stolen your identity, your sense of self, your sense of knowing who you really are in this world and what you're here to, to achieve? So I'm wondering, are you feeling lost because you no longer really know who you are? You have taken on so much of, of this this individual's identity, you know, just to keep the peace. You find yourself going along with what they want to do. do. Is this true for you? You find yourself just relating so much to what they're doing just because it's safer to be so. Do you find yourself reacting rather than responding to situations? Like they bring up a topic and you're just like, okay, this is how I really feel, but this is how I know that this person feels. So I could argue for my own truth that I believe in, or I could go along because it's just so much easier just to go along with this person because if I disagree, all hell's going to break loose, right? So, I mean, have you experienced this where you basically, you're suppressing who you really are in life just to accommodate this other person, even if that's not really resonating with you? It's just safer to be that way? And the sad reality is, the more and more we do this, the more habitual it becomes. Until at some point, it's like you don't know where you end off and they begin anymore. Have you experienced this? I know in my 30 years living with a narcissist, that was the impact it had on me. And I know that even after I left, it took a long time to really pull together, okay, what do I really feel? What do I really believe? And to have the courage to express that. You know, and these aren't even controversial issues necessarily. It's just, but narcissists tend to have a very specific worldview, and it's generally not the same as empaths. So I'm wondering today, has this been the case with you? Have you lost yourself, lost your sense identity, because this narcissist has insisted, basically, and programmed you, essentially, to going along and agreeing with them? So... <clears throat> Yeah, I know that uh, in my relationship that was so long lasting, I would tend to suppress myself and support him because A, you know, as a good partner, that's what we're supposed to be doing, but also just because it was so, so habit forming and really to the point where I just, it was so automatic that I really had to fight to change that perspective. So I'm wondering if this is true for you as well because based on the comments I'm seeing, uh, you know, in the comment boxes, this very much is what people are experiencing. So is someone's vibration dominating yours? It's really what it comes down to. The person with the strongest vibration wins. And if you've been continually conditioned to making yourself smaller so that you fit into their little narrow definition of who you should be, and this gets smaller and smaller over time. Anyone who's been in a long-term relationship with a narcissist, I'm sure you will agree with that. And even in a short term, they can do a lot of damage in a pretty short amount of time. So even if you just experience this a little bit, I'm sure that you resonate with what I'm talking about here. So, I mean, in these cases, when you're alone and when you're with a good friend, you can still feel who you are. And you can still be happy and smiling and, and just like, yeah, I love life. I know everything's going to work out. You know, it's not as bad as, as this person thinks. But then you're back in a situation again and you find yourself when you're in that person's company, you just, it just crumbles, doesn't it? And you just find yourself like, yeah, okay, yeah, everything sucks. Yeah, you're right. You know, <laughs> even though that's not what we believe. So it's so important for you as an empath to recover that sense of self. I mean, you are a beautiful, beautiful, strong human being. And you are here at, on this planet at this time because you wanted to be. You chose this time. It's like we won the lottery that we get to live here, this awakening of humanity. And you have such a vitally important role to play. The problem is with the narcissists, if they get to us, they can break us down and then our light becomes smaller and smaller until it's just this tiny little flickering, little flickering flame. So I wanted to remind you all that this is a safe place to express yourself. Here, 
in becoming an empowered empath, the journey to joy, we are going to fan that flame and get you feeling wonderful and strong again. I have helped so many of my clients regain their strength, regain their power, so they can shine their light out into the world. That's what you came to do. And the rest of the world is so depending on us. So if this resonates with you, please connect with me down below. I have many, many ways to help you get your strength back, recharge your batteries in such a powerful way that you can step out into your life in the way that you intended when you incarnated. So namaste, my beautiful, beautiful souls, my beautiful empaths. Thank you so much for being here with me today and for watching. And please comment down below. Let's keep this conversation going. Big love, everybody. Bye for now.